Well, guys, just rolled into the next project. Got the uh, D4 back there, Volvo over here. And if you guys can probably guess with a stack of ICF, we're gonna dig us the basement. Let's get unloaded. I didn't get any video of holding the Volvo in here, but let me tell you, coming off the highway out there is a little bit on the tight side. So we hold the V4 in here on the little uh, Plan B, and we're gonna probably need the dump truck to haul off some uh, dirt here in a little bit. So we'll get this unloaded. I also brought the rock bucket along because I got a feeling you guys may not be able to see it. I got a feeling about looking right there on the hillside. I see a little bit of rock, so this one might be a little bit on the fun side. We'll find out. Here we go. Going down. Just checked fluids in this thing. It's been sitting here for a couple weeks. Hopefully she'll start. Oh yes. I'm hoping, the theory is, I'm hoping, since we brought the bucket, we won't need the bucket. That's the theory. All right, so while she's putting that dog away, we'll probably go ahead and get that truck unhooked. We'll go up there and get this basement laid off. Matt Bland truck driver, I'm not sure where he's going. I was gonna put the trailer right here beside the dozer, but. Looks like he's got our plans. Well, that is definitely a little bit different than how I would have done it, but. End result still gonna be the same. It will work. That'll work. We better take these off before we put a load of dirt in this thing and regret that later. That would not be good. We are not hauling gravel. That is hard to be one handed, folks. You guys enjoy watching me struggle? <laughs> I was trying to do it one hand and I'm determined to get it at this point and I did. So don't forget to do your side. Yeah. Oh, I hope I can get this one in now. Oh. Oh, got it. We're so proud of you. Good waiting on you, buddy. Hey, you want to take that burr off sometime? I know, we need to do that. It's Next got me. Shop. It's got me once or twice, too. Luckily, I just got my callus. Well, I guess let's go see what we got. All right, got everything unhooked, everything situated. We're going to head up here and see if we can get this. Uh, get this laid out. I believe this is a pretty simple one. I believe it's just a 40 by 50 square box, but it is a walkout. I think most of the dirt's gonna have to be trucked. So you'll see what we're getting into today. All right, let me show you guys what we're up against here. This is kind of a little bit of a homestead. They built a garage a while back, actually closed it in and turned it into some living quarters to uh, get by until they actually build the house, which is what we're here to do. With that being said though, we do have some utilities to work around. Electric is coming in that way. It's not a concern. Water just goes from there to the house. It's not a concern. But the sewer system is a little bit goofy on this. It's actually a septic. It goes down through here. Follow these white pipe. Gravity feeds into a tank and is actually pumped back up over there and then goes into the field bed. One thing we have to do is we have to stay at least 10 feet away from all sewage lines that make code. And basically, I don't know if you guys can see that green flag right there we laid this thing off once we were over here we didn't have our distance so we had to lay it off again change our angle a little bit we got our distance here 
And if you go over here on this side, keep in mind, we're actually laying out the basement right now. It's basically a 40 by 50 hole, but the house actually has a 15 foot extended porch on this. So we got to add 15 feet to this flag and then another 10 feet for clearance. We need 25 feet. We got 26. It's going to be close. It is going to be close. So what we're going to do now is basically at the deepest point, this hole has to be seven and a half feet deep to make sure we get our depth. So we're going to come up here in the deepest corner. Just go ahead and dig a test hole. Make sure we can get our depth we need to get without hitting any rock and not needing that rock bucket. It's actually getting late in the day today. And then tomorrow we'll come back with this hammer down, dig this thing out. So let's dig us a test hole. All right, we're going to set this over here because we're going to be hopeful. Actually, I want to better set that back here a little bit farther in case I need to get to it later. Watch job, blouse. Hopefully just the presence of it being there means we're not going to need it. Hey, you're in my way. Did you paint this line? I will get mad at him, but it'd be kind of helpful to uh, okay. have the line. Part of this is going to be a walkout. We can't take any of the dirt that way because that's where that septic system down there is. It's already failed once. I don't know if you guys can see that yellow tank right there. They actually had to dig the tank out and put a new one in. I'm not sure what's going on. What? Not sure what's going on with uh, that one, but we're going to dig a test hole or two here before we get too carried away. Make sure we don't have any major issues with rock. And then we'll get a plan on digging in the basement. Two lines there. Don't trust the Why is there two lines? I got a little squirrely when I fell over that dirt plot. Which one's right? This one? The inside. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Alright, here we go. You guys will probably see that white line. But... And if I had to bet, if I had to bet, we're gonna hit, we're gonna hit rock on this one. But I sure hope I'm wrong. I sure hope I'm wrong. You want to take bets on rock? No. I've already took the bet that I guess we hit it. Yeah. What you're telling me is you're leaving me with one bet. Yeah. We can do a lunch on it. Nice job. Well, boys and girls, we are off to a great start. Three scoops. A trip to the hardware store. The sewer line is not quite where they thought it was. I guess it comes over and then it jogs. It was mismarked. So at this point, we have no choice but to patch what we got. And then uh, it's going to have to be re relocated because the house just will not fit here. All right, we got our serial line patched up. Unfortunately, we are out of time today. We got a little emergency phone call we got to go deal with that you guys may or may not see on video. So I guess we'll see if we're going to hit rock tomorrow. We'll have to save that bet for another day. Tomorrow it is. Tomorrow it is. All right, boys and girls, we are back for day two on this. And uh, 
I'm, I'm hoping it goes better than yesterday. We were worried about hitting rock. We hit the sewer line. We got that fixed. I'm not sure which order you guys will see this video in. We had to rush out of here because Farmer Chris decided to drive his combine off into a mud hole. But uh, stay tuned for that video, hopefully. But anyways, this morning, before we get up and running here, what I'm going to do is we actually had the laser with us today. And basically at that corner right there, which is the deepest corner of the house, we need to be about seven and a half feet in the ground. So I've got the laser set to that elevation here. His grade rod is... Uh, all messed up i'm in desperate need of a new one so we're gonna have to do this the old-fashioned way with just a tape measure but basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna measure down hold on i need both hands for this we're gonna measure seven and a half feet from right here and i want to find out where seven foot six which would be on this 13 8 I want to find out where that thing daylights out, so we might start digging from that point. So, let's move this here. So that elevation should be the bottom of our hole. So let's walk down here and see where that daylight's out at just make sure that's not going to cause any problems as we discussed yesterday the sewer line is going to have to be moved so that kind of is what it is still quite a bit lower than right there it's going to put us down here by the fence maybe oh i figure so that's basically our daylight line right there which daylight basically means from this point here we're going to dig straight back into the bank so i think what i'm going to do is we're actually going to start off right here at this kind of dig ourselves back and in there and since we're hauling this dirt out we're going to start on this side and work our way that way that way we always got to place the back of the truck in there so now we got that reference point let's go down let's go down and get uh get the truck and uh, we'll start hauling. We even got the, I forgot to mention, we got old Captain Kleeman here helping us today. It's been a while since he's been on a dirt job with us. So he's down here stripping topsoil. Let's get this thing fired up and warming up. We'll go grab the truck and start digging. So this right here is going to be our dump site. This is where all the dirt's coming from. I don't know if you guys can see the truck that was right there. So pretty short haul, pretty tight quarters. We talked about getting a second truck in here, but just don't think there's room to maneuver so anyways captain's gonna come in here strip all the topsoil back so we can dump right there we're gonna go down and steal the uh go down and steal the truck and start loading hey man hello stranger how you doing how are you guys doing it more importantly not that i don't care about you <laughs> yeah well, see what i rank in this thing so <laughs> so uh we'll run that for you i see you got it started that's uh I forgot my earplugs, oh no that's okay how no I've been great. So you do you do still work here? Somebody asked if I still work for you, and I was like, either work for him or you repose a pond. <laughs> you know? Which would make a good video series, don't get me wrong. But I, well, like I have pond. threatened to do that before. I've never had to actually follow through, but yeah. I've uh, I've threatened it a few times. So now Jerry watches my videos religiously now, which you probably know this. Well, he's going to skip this one. And every time I run the dozer, I get a report card and I get critiques. And then he goes, that explains where that scratch come from. So, uh... Can we do a walk around, like, a rental preview first? That would probably be a good idea, Let me because... Make sure that I didn't put any scratches in. And then we're getting ready to confuse everybody. I have a question, though. I saw a picture there. Right I haven't looked at the front yet. <laughs> Looks, it's already here. Looks, <laughs> no looks, looks great. Looks great. Yeah, that's already there. Yeah, looks good. Yeah. Looks good. Uh, that was Mr. Millennial. Yeah. <laughs> no, no pop that out. All right, we got dirt to move. Okay, okay. All right, so he's going to strip top, so I'm going to grab the truck, go ahead and start getting loaded. Let's get this party started and hope we don't hit any sewer lines or rock or anything else we don't want to hit. Clean up. 
even setting up camp in here. you're wondering it would be nice to have lieutenant dan but uh it's not done yet we're still working on it i really do not want to get that truck out of the shop until it's just perfect so we're getting there guys we're getting there it's, it's a job project it's a winter project it's not technically winter yet even though it's getting colder one of these days one of these days just stay tuned i promise all right let's see if we can get a full truck load today without actually hitting anything supposed to be an absolutely beautiful day absolutely beautiful day. i think i'm gonna take this first uh load here and skim some topsoil off because it's actually gonna go down there where cleman's wind rolling that whoa hang on there cleman's wind rolling that uh topsoil pile up so you just kind of put it with that for now Save what we can, I guess. May come in handy later. Been a while since I've ran the ball. I'm kind of used to the 120 again. Always takes a little time to get uh, acclimated going back and forth. We'll get it figured out. not to overload this truck on this short haul because it's all we can out of it. All right, let's go down. So now I'll make for a pretty nice full little load. Like I said, we got a, we got a short trip down here. There we go. Oh, there's a little heavier than most of us.
load number two of uh, <laughs> load 200. Let's go now. You guys kind of see the routine of what we got going here. We're gonna run a few loads here, kind of get set up, get in the routine. Man, I keep parking too far away from the track though. Like as many times as I've done this, I'd uh, have it figured out. But anyways, we're gonna run a few loads here, kind of get in the routine, get it figured out. Clemens about got that top sole strip, so he's gonna switch over and be truck driver for a while. And I may bring the dozer up here. And as I am waiting on him, we'll kind of push that bottom up to us and make sure we maintain grade coming in but so far no signs of rock or anything that's going to slow us down so let's hope that let's hope that pans out there you go all right be back in a minute all right cleman is up and running and rolling I'm gonna take this marker paint, this is our corner. I'm gonna extend our lines on past a little bit. That way if I happen to lose it, that actual corner, at least we'll still have a reference. I wanna go down here and check our grade. Kind of been a guessing here a little bit, seeing where we're at, hopefully we're pretty close. I think we brought the dozer up, that way if uh, I get time in between loads, I kind of skim the bottom of the hole out here, but so far, no signs of rock, so that's definitely a good thing. All right, any any guesses? Are we close? Are we close? Ooh. Not too shabby. We're thin about three or four inches, so that's a pretty good guess. And we're a little bit high, so that's a lot easier to fix than being low, but I'm going to set you guys down here and uh, let your time lapse her a little bit. How's that sound?
Well guys, we're getting along pretty good in real time. That was about 45 minutes worth of work. And you guys can see we got about a 10, maybe 12 foot wide path down, started going that way. This is actually the deepest corner of the basement here and we're pretty much to great. Good news, no rock whatsoever, man. This is the dirt. This is the dirt. I wish we could have found down at, down at Matt's. This is the perfect stuff to build a pond out of right here. But Cleveland's having a little bit of troubles with clutch on the truck. So we're gonna try to adjust it real quick, grab, grab some lunch and then, uh, and then go from there. So. See what uh, see what Madman's tore up. The good news is he hasn't broke the mirror, but he did break the truck. So <laughs> pull into my shop. Can you top off the blinker blue too, man? <laughs> <laughs> McLean, I'm no mechanic. Yeah. But I'm thinking. Yes, you are. I'm thinking this might be part of your problem here. Well, I, I brought this. I didn't bring this. <laughs> <laughs> this was attached to the infush after my transmission this morning. Yeah. Well, and, and I, you went down there and took some bolts out and it fell out. That's not my fault. It's not supposed to work that way. <laughs> Listen, clutch brakes are overrated. Hey, at okay. least it's not reflective. So you got that going for you. Nothing else fell out. <sighs> that's, that's, that's your takeaway from this is nothing else fell out hey. all right so for you guys that don't know this is a two-piece clutch brake it slows down the input shaft of the transmission makes the truck easier to go in gear and uh honestly in cleaning's defense it's just it's just poor so <laughs> probably it's also from me <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna let this cool off while we take lunch. We're going to attempt to put this back in to get us through the day and then we'll uh, go from there. So stay tuned. <laughs> make yourself useful. I <laughs> am <laughs> on the camera. Let me make sure I don't lose these parts up in there. Oh, here, here you go. I don't know if I can get that in there after I get it on. Oh boy. You know the good news? It's not me telling you I broke something. Because I'm here. Why? Because you're here in person? <laughs> <laughs> if you could see how hard you're laughing about yourself right now. Oh, it's hot. <laughs> oh, it's a good joke. Uh, it is hot. Normally you load these trucks from the top side, don't you? You still going nowhere? Huh? I'm convinced I have the camera on. You won't Everybody kill me. Everybody on my channel knows. Well, you don't work with me very often. This is your camera. They know. Yeah, they understand. They get it. The new subscribers are like, "Where's Cleman?" The old subscribers are like, "We know." <laughs> <laughs> You're doing a heck of a job. Yeah, I think on the passenger side. A driver's side of my truck. Yeah. Long toolbox. There's a pair of black gloves in there. I'm gonna need some gloves. I think it's you're awesome. past this point, Mike. <laughs> no, I'm. <laughs> it's not for being clean. It's for heat. Okay, here we go. Here, here, here. He said passenger side. Guaranteed driver's side. Guaranteed driver's side. See? That's you just gotta do the opposite of what he says. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. This would be a lot easier. You want me to get the excavator and flip the truck over? <laughs> no, guess you'll probably try. <laughs> All right. Well, one, if I left you a bigger hole to work in, that would definitely help. Yeah, but if I did that, we would never found this, you know what I mean? We'll check in here a little bit. Okay. I'm not gonna lie, when you said you could have that fixed in under a minute, I did not believe you. <laughs> it's probably because through the power of editing, I still don't think we got it fixed in under a minute. <laughs> you should have the camera on you right now because your ability to keep a straight face is, uh, what color am I right now? Just out of curiosity. <laughs> <laughs> You're fine. <laughs> Do you know we're wearing the same shirts today? We both got full tilt on? Oh, not currently. The I shirt. <laughs> <laughs> You're Mr. Observant today. Sorry. 
I do have a full tilt sweatshirt, and I do have my full tilt hat on. Yes. And if anybody hasn't checked out Ed and Brandon with full tilt grading, they should, because they got a cool YouTube channel. They do have a cool YouTube channel. Well, you know what I'm more interested in than their YouTube channel right now? Seeing if this works? Whether or not this clutch works. Oh, am I supposed to take this? Take that. Got it. Take that. Got it. I'm missing one other piece somewhere. Piece of what? Oh, the other pry bar. Oh. Um. There it is. All right. No, we're still missing. No, one. we're still missing one. <laughs> this is not going well. Oh, here it is. <laughs> <laughs> well, if we left it in there, we'll find out real quick. Because basically, it's not going as planned. We're not working. The only thing that's went right so far is we haven't hit rock, but we hit the sewer line and you broke the truck. Don't worry that weight. <laughs> you've uh, you've used up your one mulligan today. Oh, I got it. But... Let's see if she works. If it, uh... I'm sure you told all your viewers I armor all the dash too. That's my foot in the car. <laughs> your foot away. <laughs> oh. oh man, what is that? Not again. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, look at that. Listen, we're stuck. It's gonna be a long trip home. <laughs> Hey, let's take it out and push in the brake. Go forward two inches. Yeah, we got it. There she, no, we're good. Well, I'm just trying to be dramatic for your channel. <laughs> you, God. you got like four. <laughs> oh, shot. Four hours. Don't tear it up, Captain. All right, we're back to work. All right, we are back rolling again. We're going to start on our second set back here. Got a fence post over there, parked in the corner of the house. You guys want to take bets on whether or not Captain takes it out or not? <laughs> well, I went to lunch and grabbed a few things. Captain did go down there and take the uh, dozer and bust it off the uh, bust it off the whole area down there when we're dumping the field area, the dump area. What? What, what are we gonna call it? The dump site. The dump site. Got it cleaned up, so we should be good to run here for a little bit. We don't tear anything up. He's gonna pick up a new clutch brake while he's in town tomorrow, just so we'll have it. Hopefully that one will get us through the day. Not 100% sure what's going on with it, but something's a little loose. We'll blame it on the driver. Definitely a driver is. Truck seems to be working pretty good. I think we're back in business there. While he's dumping, I'm gonna hop on the D4 real quick and kind of push that a little bit up here just so we can dig it out and make it easier to load. Works pretty good. We got time to kill, so let's shove some dirt. Time's out about right now that we got her shoved up. Clayman's on his way back, so let's get him loaded. All right, 
right, Cleveland's heading off with another one. He said he's got a spot down here in the road. It's getting a little bit soft. We're gonna take some of this uh, better dryer clay. Walk down here and see if we can get that issue addressed before it gets any worse than what it is, already is. Got a little bit goofy getting in and out of here. They actually got the cars parked, parked in the road. We're kind of driving off to the side here. It was right there a little bit dirty, these holes here. Got one spot right there. We just want to drive and drive that one little area. Let's see if we can't fix them up. Track through, smash that down, and we'll blade it off, go back the other way. is one place where that truck's gonna shine over Lieutenant Dan. There is no way Lieutenant Dan's gonna make this uh, sharp a turn right there. Every time Cleveland does it, it keeps getting closer and closer to it. I was just saying, I don't think Lieutenant Dan will make that turn. No. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. You got a clutch break. Yeah, that's true. All right, we're making pretty good progress. Maybe I'll send you guys along for a ride with uh, Captain Cleveland if he promises to bring you back safe. We're just about, we're on the back third of this uh, second pass. We'll jump back. I think we'll be able to get it all in one more pass coming back the other way. Hopefully. Can I trust you to bring my people back if I let them go on a ride with you? Yeah. Come on. Which way you got? Well, where are they going? Where, where are they going to look? <laughs> I, like I should apologize in advance. No. We're going. <laughs> We're going. Oh. <laughs> got it. Okay. Help. Oh, wait a second. Oh, kill it. Now. I don't know how much you're loading these, but they do, and they probably understand the situation. We got it. Then you do one of these, and then you grab the wheel because you got to hold the camera with the other hand. Then you do another one. There you go. And then you hold the camera with the other hand. Yeah, you got it. Then you don't hit the owner's car. Mission accomplished. Yeah. That's where we're going. And you just 
you break a little. You hope the brake holds along. There we go. We got the reverse. And then you look in there. Hold on. Oh god, I can't reach. No. God dang it. See now this that's just embarrassing. Hold on, hold on. Here we got we gotta get one of them gears. There we go. Professional operation here, boys and girls. Lord. <laughs> and there you go, that's a professional professional part-timer for you. And he takes this and he puts it in there. You guys, you get that. Let's see how that works. Oh, yeah, there it goes. Yeah. And then it just... It's got it. Okay. Yes, oh, hi. How are you guys? You're loaded. It was... I want to see some of some miraculous driving skills you got here. They saw it. They rode it off. Hard to find good help. Take what I can get. We're getting close. I'm gonna jump down here and clean up with the dozer a little bit. At some point, I probably ought to check Gray down there. I've just been kind of, kind of guessing. I think we're close. I think we're close. We'll, uh, we'll find out together here in a minute. All right, we're getting ready to find out together how close we are. Any uh, any guesses? I guess we will make sure the laser's turned on. Are we close? Here we go. Oh, look at that. Maybe three quarters of an inch high. That is pretty, pretty doggone close for a guess. Really close. Actually, the low divots, the low divots are right where we need to be. Got a few uh, ripples in there to get cleaned out, but for what we're doing right now with a rough pass, we are getting pretty doggone close. So, got to get this corner here dug out, and then we'll start back in there with one more pass going, going back. So, keep on going. All right, Captain Hijack, my dozer, he went down there. He said he was getting a little full on the dump side, so he took the dozer down there to push it off. So we're going to hop in the truck and uh, pretend to be truck driver for at least one round. Man, he's got the, got the seat all the way forward into the back. Come down here and put a little bit extra clay on this road right here again. It was starting to get just a little bit soft there in one spot. But for the most part, it's all been holding up pretty good. Well, we got some dirt hauled in there today. It's going 
forgot about that. You act like you know what you're doing. You got it dumping, Wayne. Let me pay attention to what I'm doing to the embarrass you if I got stuck right now. My nose are back to me. Got this area here kind of shaved down close. I'm gonna hop down there, kind of get it all pushed up to me while he's uh, hauling off the next load there. Give you guys a little bit of a view from the bottom. This side over here is pretty close. Right there, if you guys can see where the bank notch is down, that's where the corner of the basement's actually at. So that hill needs to be kind of sloped in as walk out. And basically we got that little area right there where the machine's sitting at to get out of here. We're getting late in the day, we're running out of time, running out of daylight, but I'm gonna take the D4 here, kind of try to shape this bank up a little bit, get that loose material pushed up. Hopefully get four or five more loads hauled out of here. We'll have to call today and Try it all over again tomorrow. So let's get that cleaned up. how many loads that is today but it's a few i'd say we're probably close to uh three quarter done here let me kind of show you from the bottom side there's our corner flag we've been able to save all day so if you guys see right through there right through there we just got this little chunk right here it's a quarter of the basement at the absolute most maybe even less but uh he's gonna have to wait for tomorrow captain can't work tomorrow matt can't work tomorrow Trying to talk Jerry and run the track, though. He's not really excited about it, but I think he's gonna come help me, so stay tuned for that. But I'm gonna take the dozer down and uh, clean up the road a little bit for this evening so they can get in and out. And then uh, we'll check out the dump site and call it a day. There's the bottom side, right there. We just, uh, just, just yeah, yeah, just need that out of here. So, all right, it's getting dark, it's getting late. Let's roll. There's a dump side at the end of the day. We definitely got a spot for a few more loads. We're gonna have to push her off before we go go too far, but that kind of gives you perspective of how much uh, dirt we hold. Quite a few, uh, quite a few loads. 
Pick us up a hit hitchhiker down here. Are you recording me? Do you have my viewers met? I mean, most of my viewers are your viewers, but have they met each other? I, it's they're been perfect a while. subscribers. Meet the Captain Clemens subscribers. They're good people. They're, they're all good people. They're really. perfect. Meet Captain Destruction. <laughs> yeah, that's not what it says on the channel. Captain. Oh, your red light's flash. It is. It's time to tell everybody good night and bye bye. <laughs> you have been munching. Every time I look over while I'm loading you today, you've got something going in your mouth. I went over snacks today on my video. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> we didn't cover the blazing cheddar. Well, I way. tried the blazing cheddar for lunch and uh, I was not a fan. It doesn't smell they like are good. definitely blazing. This is so. like a good year for the cheddar. You, you need to focus. We've got to end this video. Hey, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one. No, Happy you gotta, New Year outro. You got to tell them, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. That's right. And if don't they forget. like it, it helps the channel. And if they don't want to miss out what's coming up next, they need to subscribe. Bye. <laughs> Later.